Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's been a while, and here I am at Pleasure House Point, favorite place in the world. Here's the thing. It is perfect out. I mean, it's got to be in the maybe mid-70s. It's sunny. There's no humidity. It, it is going to be glorious. So, I thought that I would bring this Insta360 one inch 360 thingy again although i think the test came out much better yesterday there wasn't really a horribly noticeable seam or very jittery footage it looked nice and smooth the problem is is that because i didn't do anything to the footage other than import it from the camera it arbitrarily just started spinning and I was never in frame, except for right at the beginning, and it, you know, it just sort of did whatever the hell it wanted to, which I thought was interesting. You'd think that it would just kind of, I don't know, go forward, but it didn't. I mean, I went forward, but the camera itself did its own little spin. So today, as I'm walking through here, I'm going to change the perspective, so to speak, in the software after I get this home. Now, the other thing that worked well was the fact that, so here I have my DJI wireless transmitter, and I'm using it independent of the receiver. So it means I can just start recording on this thing, and then I can match it up. Now, the nice thing was that it matched the audio form, you know, like you were able to, to line the audio forms up in the software, and then I just collapsed them, combined the two pieces together, so that I didn't have to, you know, like cut and paste and, you know, this, that, and the other thing. It just blended into the audio, and then I shut the audio for this off and used the audio from the mic, and that worked out pretty good. Now, I haven't been here in a while, so I don't know what I'm in store for. I mean, the last time I was here, every time I turned around, there was a bird for me to take a picture of, which was a very awesome. Don't know if it's going to be that way today. I'm not usually here this early in the morning. It's only almost 10 after 10. And I'm usually not here. Okay, there's one over there in one of the bird trees. So anyways, I'm usually here at like in between noon and three. <laughs> you know, when it's the hottest part of the day. But not today. Today it is absolutely immaculate. If every day were like this, this would just be paradise. To me, anyways, because I don't like it to be gross hot, and I don't care for cold either. But I do love my sunshine. Okay. I see one bird over there. Don't know why my voice sounds so low today. I don't think I was doing any unnecessary scream singing. Oh, he took off. Let's see where he goes. Oh, right over to a tree on the other side. Cool. All right, but there's another big ass one up there. So let's walk around this side so I can get a better view because the branches are blocking. tougher here today and everywhere because of all the rain. Ooh, he's a big one. Holy shit. Uh, anyway, because of the rain, it made it. Oh, there's another one in there. Okay, bird tree galore. Here we go. Okay, don't know what happened there. 
the Insta360 shut off. Suffice to say, there's a gigantic, great, oh, there's another one. Jesus, there, right now there's three birds in that tree that I can now see. There's a great blue heron, a white egret, and it looks like a yellow crested night heron. Kind of tough to see, and I'm out of practice. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to set this down. Okay, well, that's, what, four, four birds, and I'm just leaving the first turn. I don't know. Maybe I'll see an eagle and get to take a picture of it. That'd be the more important part. Okay, I had the camera shut off again. I think it's because it's getting too hot, given that I'm out in the direct sunlight. So I'm gonna shut it off and let it cool down for a bit. And just walk around and enjoy the birds. Okay, kids, this has been pretty fruitful. There are a shit ton of birds out here today. I just got uh, one of a juvenile yellow crested night heron who was in the path, the walking path. I've never seen that before. And he flew up around the bend here and was sort of out in, in a puddle and caught some crab for lunch so i got a bunch of shots of that and I, I don't know they're just everywhere you look there's birds very cool so again this insta 360 kept shutting off and i'm thinking it was because of the heat given that i'm like usually in the direct sunlight plus it's shooting at 6k i, I guess that's just sort of the way of it unfortunately this is not a camera that can be used the way that I would use a camera. Now, when I had the Insta360 hooked up in its normal formation, it was just fine. I never had it shut off in the heat, except for the time that it had been sitting cooking on the dashboard. So, for now, just don't do that. Now that I've played around with this damn software and I've gotten the perspectives and we've checked all the corners, so to speak, to you know look at the seams and all that shit, now, what do you think? Especially since it's such a glorious day out. You know, I mean, we got sunshine, but we've also got tree covers, so we got a lot of shadows and so on and so forth, and lots of colors and branches. I want to know what you think of the footage. I think that, you know, I think we got it going on now. Uh, and I'm a little bit more happy, and I'm happier now that this doesn't look like complete shit. Now, the problem is that on YouTube, when I upload it, remember, you're probably only going to see the 480 version because it takes a long-ass time for that stuff to compile. If I don't shoot in 4K, you know, a couple times I shot in 1080. Nobody noticed the difference. I shot in 1080, but I edited on a 4K timeline, and I always upload in 4K to YouTube, regardless of what I shoot it in. So this stuff is shot in 6K and then I'm putting it on a 4K timeline and uploading it.
But again, it always initially uploads in 480. And sometimes, shit, I'm looking a day later and it still tells me that it's working on the, on, you know, the higher res stuff. So that's all on YouTube. Trust me, it looks good on my computer. I'm going to wrap this up here because I'm coming up to the treacherous rock path and, and I'm carrying all this gear and I don't want to trip. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave it down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.